Type 1, Example 1. In each of the following questions, find the letters that best complete the series. The alphabet has been provided to assist you. So here's our example. JW, KS, LO, MK and NG. And we have to find the missing pair here that best completes this series. So there's going to be a pattern within these letters which tells us how we're going to find our answer. So first, let's look at the first letter of each pair, marked here in red. How do we get from J to K? Well, let's have a look at our alphabet line. To get from J to K, we're just going up one letter in the alphabet, so plus one. How do we get from K to L? K to L, also up one letter in the alphabet. L to M, up one letter again and M to N, also up one letter. So, to find the first letter of our answer, we go up one letter from N, which is O. Now, looking at the second letter of each pair, how do we get from W to S? Back to our alphabet line, starting on W, we're going back 1, 2, 3, 4. So we write minus 4 because we're going back 4 letters in the alphabet. How do we get from S to O? S, 1, 2, 3, 4. So we're also going back 4 in the alphabet. From O to K, starting at O, 1, 2, 3, 4 back. From K to G, starting at K, 1, 2, 3, 4, also 4 back. So. To find the second letter of our answer, we have to go back four letters from G. So starting at G, going back one, two, three, four, we get to C. So our answer to this question is OC. Let's have a look at a second example of type 1. The instructions are still the same. In each of the following questions, find the letters that best complete the series. The alphabet has been provided to assist you. In this example, we've been given F, P, E, Q, C, O, Z, R, V, N, and we need to find the next pair of letters to complete this series, something that continues the pattern. So first, to find out what the pattern is, we look at the first letter in each pair, as we've marked in red here. So from F to E, going to our alphabet line, from F, we go backwards 1 to get to E, so we can write down minus 1. Then from E to C, it's backwards 1, 2, so minus 2. From C to Z, well, you want to choose the shortest way to get from C to Z. So instead of going all the way along the alphabet forwards, we can actually go backwards and when we get to the end of the alphabet just loop round and start again. So what I mean is starting at C we go backwards 1, 2 and then loop round 3 to get to Z. So from C to Z it's backwards 3. Then from Z to V we go backwards again 1, 2, 3, 4. Backwards 4. So as you can see, our pattern is minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4. What do you think will be next? Yes, it needs to be minus 5. So V minus 5 is, starting at V, minus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, will end up on Q. So the first letter of our answer is Q. We now need to go on and find out what the second letter is. So looking at all of the black letters. So from P to Q, that's just forward 1 from P to Q, so we can write plus 1. From Q to O, well, from Q to O, that's actually backwards 1, 2. So backwards 2, we could put it down as minus 2. Then from O to R, from O to get to R, is forwards 1, 2, 3, so plus 3. And from R to N, 
starting at R, getting to N, we actually have to go backwards. One, two, three, four. So it's backwards four. So can you spot the pattern? Plus one, minus two, plus three, minus four. So the next thing to do will be plus five. So we've got to do N plus five and see what we get. So we're starting at N plus one, two, three, four, five gives us S. So our answer is QS. Let's have a look at one last type one example. Now the one I'm about to show you is slightly trickier than the others because this type actually has two sequences in the one question. Now let's look at the first sequence. Now what we've got here, we're looking at every other pair of letters marked on by the red circles. You see here B, C, D, E, F, G and H, I. And then the second sequence are the ones in between. Now in this particular example, if you can see here, we'd actually need to use the second sequence in order to get our, our answer. Now we do this in the usual way. So now using the second sequence, we look at going from X to U. So let's have a look at our alphabet line. So from X to U, we're going one, two, three, back three. And from U to R, U, one, two, three, back. And so our answer, we'd have to go three back from R, which is one, two, three, which is O. And then to complete the answer, we'd have to do the same thing with the second letter of the second sequence. So from W to T, T to Q, and then we'd get our final answer, which is ON.